Hey guys, it's your boy Lyle JFX of Lyle JFX Design Academy. I welcome you all to today's brand new episode of Photoshop Tutorial. Today we are going to be designing an inspirational quote uh, design or a motivational quote design just like this. So sit by and relax as I take you through the whole process of how I came about this design. All right. All right. Before we go into the uh, design process, yes, please. There is an important thing you need to do right now before anything else, which is very important. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe now. And turn on the notification button so anytime we are on this channel anytime we upload any videos you will be, you'll be the first person to get notified so please subscribe and turn on the notification button please and please share this video to anybody that know you know wants to be a graphic designer with photoshop they will learn a lot so please share this video thank you all right let's go into the main business of the day firstly i will go to the file so i can create a new uh, document for our project Put on new then we'll make it 1800 by 1800 since it's a social media uh, design make it 1800 by 1800 then 300 resolution if i make it 100 or well, depends on how well you want the quality of your design to look like and uh, this place will make it rgb because it's an online design not for printing then and leave the rest the way it is and click on create okay now let's first create our background for the design then you go to your file again uh, you, you look for place linked okay now look for the folder where my documents are uh I don't know. all right let's look for the documents look for the documents Come in on the document. Okay, this is the document here. Yeah? All right. Now, first upload clicks. Then you now click on place. Wait for it to load. All right. Then you increase size to make it full the whole page okay and click on the this button like boss button okay now you can uh, import the minister's image by uh, going to this file again or could just you can just like come to the folder here since i've seen the folder just come to the folder and click on my minister image the image i want to import and come here place it in the side image again okay now we are going to crop this image now there are different ways you can crop image we can use a pencil tool here I use a pen to buy you know, but there's no more uh, enough time to do this uh, to start cropping it so I'll fast forward this video then I'll put a link in the description that I've explained how to use this pen to 
to um, remove background so please go check it out and you can use it for this uh, background and also there is other way to do this very fast just click on this if you don't want to use the pen to pen to also I'm teaching you the other way you can use just go to this keep keep here keep quick selection tool right I'm sorry then you click on select object but this select object has limitation if your background is not that smooth like this it will you will find it difficult to capture the O and to remove the background so that's what that's when pen tool comes in so please check the description link for the pen tool tutorial if you want to learn how to use a pen tool all right now let's go back to this quick selection tool i'm going to use quick selection tool to remove this background then you click on select object Left object. Okay, the object has been selected now. Then you come, then you press Ctrl C to copy this image. Ctrl C. Then you press Ctrl V. Ctrl V to paste it. Ctrl C. Now you have copy. Have um, then you now click on this uh, other layer. I have, I have copied the image now and see I have removed the background I see now okay then we will now blur this uh, layer beneath the real uh, image you blur it before you blur it you go to your filter then you go to your uh, blur Go to Gaussian blur. Okay. Now, you either increase it here, you can reduce it to any size you want. You click OK. All right. Now, we'll come here. Then you add a gradient. Come here to add your ingredients here and pick any ingredient you want let's look for ingredients okay let's do we use this Let's use this. Then you go you click on multiply. Click on multiply. Then you come back to your image. The image that the the real image this is the real image a real image okay now now you've done that then you come to this eraser tool this is the eraser tool you can get to that eraser tool by clicking and holding this tool then you come here and click on it then And blur it. Blur it. Okay. I want us to uh, rotate this image to 
faced in like to reverse it and pre click on and um, press ctrl t to transform then you click on this until you see this sign then you can click on it then you right click on your mouse then you flip horizontally you see so i want us to increase this image Okay. Now let's come to this place. You click on your rectangle, then you draw in it, draw the rectangle. this place that is your property and you drag it to your right it will have a smooth edge and see all right then you press ctrl t again press ctrl t then you go to you click on perspective so that you can make it like this then shift it to the middle press ctrl c to increase it a little bit Now we are going to give this uh, shape shadow with shadow. If you want to do this, you double click on this rectangle to double click on it. Then you go to your go to your drop shadow here you can you can um you can transform it to your own choice by coming to this place spread it increase the size yeah. now click ok okay let's give it let's give the uh design a little bit of stroke double click on it again then go to stroke here okay increase the size a little bit and click on ok we might still change this background though because i'm not let's let's see let's see we might still change the background let's continue all right now let's write our text so i don't really have a code but i'm going to be using a bible verse yeah so it says go go here go here to the world text and control a control x to cut it i want us to put it inside inside this box so now i'm going to click on this box come here click on here inside then you press control v to paste that uh, text that we just cut all right done that now then we increase the size of the text. Mm -hmm. 
drag it with the new a little bit. Then we have to change this color. Maybe change it to black. Change it to black. Okay. Right. Then we are going to write the name of the minister. Wow. place to do that the space reduce okay come here and we'll drag it down let's reduce this all right let's reduce the fonts Let's make it 20. Thank you. Okay. Let's make the name straight line. Alright. Let's make the text. Let's try and make this text. Blue, 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 and let's see what we get. Okay, right. Okay, now we are going to import on social media and social media and okay to import that just like what we did earlier we come to this place and we place when we go to place i'll go to place or i'll come to this my folder then this and the social media and this is Facebook, Instagram, just press one to and start clicking on them. This is my Telegram and this is my YouTube. Then we drag the four icons into our Photoshop. Okay. So reduce the size. Okay. Reduce this one also. Click OK. Reduce this too. Then we we'll click on checkbox. Then finally we we'll reduce this also. Okay. Please once again, if you are here to subscribe to this channel, please do me free to subscribe right now and click on the notification button. So that when next we upload that video, you'll be the first person to be notified. Please and also share this video. Okay, now let's give it space. Give it space. shift this one up a little bit okay all right now here we take the telegram no okay let's let's bring back the facebook to this because my facebook and uh, my and telegram they are of the same name okay and uh the Instagram bring it back 
okay and the facebook name <sighs> click on the horizontal type then facebook name Reduce the size. Just make it twenty. Twenty. Okay. Drag it down. Let's make the text color white. So it can be more visible for us. <sighs> We make it black. Let's see. I think it's more preferable. Okay. Then as YouTube channel name is Prophet Now we are done with design, but I want us to try something. I've done a tutorial like that before, but I just want us to go through it again. So, if you have not watched my uh, video on how I thought uh, on how you can make your own gradients background, how you can edit your own gradients. So this is another opportunity for you again. So here yeah, I want to like create uh, a a gradient. So now if you want to do that, you come to this place. We have already created one, so I want us to make another background for it. You come here and come to this place, and you see right can change the color here change the color to any color you want okay so it's not great on new now click ok yeah so with this you can make any design of your own you can make any gradient of so then let's come to this place then let's press ctrl t okay i want to increase the size of this design
Okay. And I want to blend this picture. So let's go to filter again. Go to Gossel Block. So we blend it a bit more. Just, just be following what I'm doing. I'm just putting two different way of adding um, gradients. You see, so you can change this gradient to any design you want, any preferred color you want. So that's just it about this design for you this week. So please. If you are just joining this channel for the first time, once again, please, please subscribe and turn on the notification button so you can be the first to be, get, to be notified when we upload uh, another tutorial. And please share this uh, tutorial to as many as possible. So we we'll meet again next time. God bless you. Bye.